one of the things that I used for recently was when I was when I got when I had to look over all the freaking contracts with Universal mm-hmm. and like and all of them. Oh yeah. Like they sent me stacks on stacks on stacks of contracts and like and handbooks to review. Yeah. I like I what I liked about it I copy pasted each article each section and mm-hmm. I just I just said simplify this so a fifth grader can understand it and everything was just like okay cool just understanding like the 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 jargon of like of mm-hmm. all the contracts because mm-hmm. those things get wordy they get all they also get very technical and they, they, there's a whole lawyer speak mm-hmm. that can get for me like at ah. least like is this what i think it means yeah so that helped out i saved a lot of time so i can understand like one read the contract yeah two understand it and three sign it in a timely manner that was, mm-hmm. now i'm not spending the whole week yeah. yeah that's one of the ways like i found it super super useful mm-hmm. um yeah there's a whole bunch of things yeah. play. i mean i, I mean like thing. with our work too <clears throat> like at, as a copywriter it's like my first my first reaction was oh shit i'm out of a job and then i'm like looking through it i'm like no i just have a buddy from a job because like i still have to it's hard when you're writing for a specific people or a specific brand that has a specific voice that isn't like as famous or whatever. It's not like, oh, if I'm, if I'm going to be writing for someone as Gary Vee, literally, like that works, right? It's like write, you know, write an Instagram post in the tone of, or voice of Gary Vee and using this information and then boom, there it is. For like me, like with temper tantrum, I'm like, I don't know temper tantrum yet. And so it's like, there's a specific voice for temper tantrum, so I'll just have it Brandon. write something, and then I'll take it, and then I'll change it anyway. I'm still one of those, I'm one of those moms that like, you know, the kids like cleaning up after themselves, and then I clean up after the kids. Uh, <laughs> I'll redo it anyway. Yeah, that's what I like about it, especially with writing all the, co- all the copy for the posts. Mm-hmm. It allows you to be creative in a much more high-end level mm-hmm. of like, okay, because there's creating from scratch which in itself is a different type of query creativity yeah. but then there's taking what they what's already there and enhancing it yeah. which is why like there's like several levels of like you know there's a junior editor the the head editor senior editor whatever senior copywriter and whatnot because they have the experience uh, it essentially makes chat gpt essentially makes everything more like the junior uh, everyone be- mm-hmm. yeah chat gpt is essentially the junior copywriter yeah. everyone's a senior level mm-hmm. and it's sort of the creative they become the creative director of their own thing yeah mm-hmm. which i think is which helps because sometimes like fuck i don't have an idea mm-hmm. right now and i'm like all right cool and you just you just literally give it prompts all right write a caption about or about dance make it inspirational mm-hmm. make it sound like tony robbins is writing it and then just and then give me 12 examples yeah and then boom 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 Whereas, like, I know that's the part that might be scary for a lot of, like, junior copywriters or junior editors in general. Yeah. Because, you know, like, especially with mid-journey and mm. uh, potential ed- AI editing softwares. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a... I have mixed thoughts about that. But, yeah, it definitely helps save time in terms of having to be come up, come up with things from scratch. Yeah. 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 That is pretty nice. Especially mm-hmm. since... Like if some if there's a topic that you don't necessarily know too much about, and you're like, just tell me about this, and then it says da 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 da, and you're like, okay, like what can I pull yeah. from that, and then you can go even more in depth, da da da. But that's like also like something uh, that has been I've been kind of using it for for my job for like some of the social media posts. Yeah. And my uh, God, what's her name? Yeah, my boss has actually sent me. She sent me a link of like. How to even how to optimize it even more like with Canva so like to oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah to create more posts and I was like oh shit mm-hmm. like man I thought I was doing okay there's yeah. there's yeah. also some uh, browser extensions that work in tandem with ChatGPT mm-hmm. uh, a lot of them have to do with like copywriting and like social media and stuff so I think I sent you an article from Wired like a, oh, a couple there, days ago there's so but, many articles. Yeah. Like the one, yeah. the ones I, I that off the top of my head that I remember that I liked was the Canva one. You literally generate yeah. like the twelve, the ten quotes and automatically yeah. puts it on. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was on the what on an Excel sheet. Yeah. And, yeah. So ChatGPT, what it does, it like it generates the post for you, and then what you can do, especially since a lot of people nowadays have, they like having like the pretty quotes and mm-hmm. like the text, 
like in like very nice like like writing or it's like it's pretty and yeah. so like people love reading that so it's like it does that generates the post and then you can upload it to make essentially make like multiple posts in like a certain like like nice like graphic font or like a very pretty picture so it like makes it picturesque and so yeah. i was like whoa yeah and i know that's something that she had been wanting yeah. to do so i'm like Okay, well now we have a way to yeah. do it. Canva itself is already like a pretty good tool to begin with for like yeah. non-graphic designers. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. But like then and then with the addition of that like with ChatGPT, that just makes yeah. Canva like way friendlier for people that don't exactly consider themselves creative because I did I helped out um I can just drop her name. Uh, Jojo Starbuck, former uh, <laughs> Olympic ice skater. She she came to me once. She was like, oh, hey, I need help with my social media. And oh, blah. And she also needed help with Canva. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, it's pretty user friendly. But she's also like, you know, old. And so I'm like, oh, so now I have to like explain Canva to her. And she's like, oh, but why can't it be just automatically this, automatically that? I'm like, but we're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Send it to her now. <laughs> yeah. Technology is transforming real yeah. fast. And, yeah. and uh, one thing I'm looking forward to, I only know one tool that uses AI for social media. It's called, I think, Social Bakers. Mm. Social bakers, yeah, like bake Bing. man, bread man, bread man, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But what their tool, social bread man, what their Cake tool man. does, and I've never used it, but I just saw it and like I, I couldn't afford it because the, their tool is so expensive. At least it's out of our but butt. What does it do? What it does, it 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 takes the posts that you're doing, and it te and it projects using AI what you should start posting moving forward. Oh, yeah. right. you should start posting. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like if it's like, okay, this video with this color, with this thing, mm -hmm. with this color, I'm a I, this is just a subject. So like aesthetic it. content, yeah. or like subject this, matter, all this that? photo, this color, yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah. it can predict what might be a good like post together. Using the data. Yeah. yeah. Using your data from your audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, this is going to generate a good post for yeah. you. Yeah. At least at this right That's now. That's cool. Yeah, so. I mean, it's kind of what we do, but it's, it's like very, it's, it's, we're, it's essentially the scientific method. It's like, let's try this. Oh, people like that. We'll do more of this. Let's mm -hmm. try this. Yeah. It's, uh, it's less of the work of the scientific method. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, there's one that I found. Oh, it's called Meat Cortex. Oh, I yeah. I, I tested it last summer and the same, same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? It's essentially you give it like your last 500 posts and looks at everything and it says posts with this color do better posts wow. with, with videos with this do better with these yeah take it's, note friends so mm -hmm. it's a it's a pretty good tool uh, just to give an idea like these hashtags performed best this, yeah. these words performed best mm -hmm. like it really analyzes everything you can do your tiktok your youtube your facebook like your instagram it was a pretty good tool again yeah. i was just playing around with it because that's honestly out of the budget right now. I have a friend who is a programmer, and ChatGPT, like knowing that ChatGPT can literally write code for you, doesn't scare him at all. He was like, "Oh, this can just make my job a lot easier instead of like trying to figure out how, to, spending hours on end figuring out how to do this one thing. I can just have ChatGPT do it. I'll look over the code, see if it's actually like." correct yeah put it in i'm done i'm free to work on other things i think yeah. Yeah, optimized uh, yeah there's uh there's also a saying that goes the tools we design also design us back mm -hmm. so there's also the fear of I, I hear it to parents saying this of kids using this to write papers or all those things yeah. and i'll be like i know the, i also know there's just tools that this is where i think before this tool is even exists, mm -hmm. that is even introduced to people, it should be like people should get to get into the grind mm -hmm. of this is just me being romantic, like the grind of understanding copyright and understanding how to actually draw in perspective and mm -hmm. you know proper things like that. So that way, when they have the tool, it's enhanced and they're not reliant on the tool. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because. You know, it, it, there's a whole. Uh, that's I think that's one fear of mine is like people losing the ability to be creative independently from a tool. Yeah. yeah. So, 
Yeah, the smart yeah, once once all of this like that makes it easier for you, like do you actually still want to do it even though even if all of those bridges that make it easier for you if it's gone, yeah. like would you still want to do it? Yeah. Cuz like I mean writing from ChatGPT is not perfect and I think that's what a lot of students don't recognize. They think it's just cuz they don't here's the thing. They get it from ChatGPT, they copy and paste it and they just kind of like do the formatting like however and then they don't do anything. They don't like go they they don't they don't go back in and like read and just to like oh, yeah. skim it to see if it's actually relevant to what it, they're yeah. to um, to what they're talking. It could look as original, it could be as, you know, like check proof as possible, but like I mean, I, as someone who proofreads for fun, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I enjoy doing little things. It's like, I, like, I still go back and, like, rewrite things from ChatGPT, whether if it's for voice or just for grammar. Not that the grammar is not correct, but I'd rather say it like this than this. Mm. Like, in, 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 like, you know, whatever context. Like, for a paper, a lot of ChatGPT uh, essays are written, especially if you say, like, write a thousand word essay for this. They will try to write a thousand words. Some of those words don't make fucking sense in, yeah. in it. They're all just filler words. Yeah. And you just don't recognize it. And then ChatGPT is like, here you go. The thing is, it's good, but it's not perfect. So if you're going to use ChatGPT to write your paper, I won't judge you. But uh, you took a class for this thing, so you should know a little something about this subject. Read through it a little bit and like correct it. So it's still kind of yours. Yeah. yeah? This, like, this is like the whole... Having a good prompt, yeah. Because knowing that your material to for ChatGPT, yeah. To because like, for example, I I can't. Is this the ChatGPT version of fix it and pre? <laughs> yeah, that that's the, the way I do. I think. Yeah, like, the way <laughs> I, fix it and pre. The way I think about it is like if I just say like write an Instagram caption about dance. Yeah. Cool. They'll do that. If I but if I get specific, I want probably specifically wanted to talk about temper tantrum, uh, the projects we're doing. I will input all of that so that way it's the exact information I want in the copy mm -hmm. and that way it, that way I don't know, it, it it's trying to mitigate any small any of the mistakes so that way so that way you're not trying to fix so much yeah that also goes to show like it's at the end of the day it's not something you can use that's going to do it perfectly and you just like you don't have to think about it mm -hmm. yeah. like you have to put thought into what you're doing here which is kind of the same for anything. Mm -hmm. Like ChatGPT is a tool. Yeah. yeah. Like it, a tool, like help that helps you. It's not some. It's not a brain for you to rely on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. at the end of the day, like you, you, you had to figure out that how to do that. Yeah. yeah. Like you had to use your human brain to figure out that I can't just like say X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. and then it'll give me exactly what I want. No, you're still like you still have to cater to it. You still have to you know like give it prompts you still have to say like do this not mm -hmm. this make it shorter make it longer yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like like as much as like people like are afraid that this is going to take over there's still something about the human mind mm -hmm. that technology still can't replace yeah yeah because yeah, it took me a couple of like prompts to with uh, when it comes to like temper tantrum posts to get it to basically to get me to the point where i can just go write an insta like you know write an instagram caption for temper tantrum for their campaign in the gogo -Go campaign or whatever yeah. and then with the information that's already in the that thread that's like saved there then it can just go oh here it is yeah. and then it'll just like mention like casually like it'll casually like drop you know like name drop like one of the projects and it's like oh like our project let's say yummy or whatever i'm like oh that was from last week when i asked you to do something yeah. that's what i like and i love about chat gpt like when i it, it saves the history of what you're talking about yeah so whenever with specifically temper tantrum i have it say i one of the prompts is remember all this information about temper tantrum it's learning and then i yeah, put i put about mm -hmm. i put everything about the bio mm -hmm. who the directors are yeah uh, like our bios who's currently in the team mm -hmm. all the projects we've worked on like by name like so that way when i say write a <laughs> and then like I literally have a document in our in the Google Drive mm -hmm. like here's the chat GPT prompt and it has everything and you just boom so it remembers it and then when you when it comes to time it has all the information yeah. that it needs to know about said company yeah mm. so because it sucks like because because I want it to I want it as much as possible to have the 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 not the same information but at, like at least some detailed information that you can't that 
it just doesn't know yeah. so like i wanted to know like all right here's the projects you work on here's mm -hmm. the events you performed at here's the major big events here's the people important characters and that way it can easily pull oh this is brandon this is crystal this is lauren this is and, yeah this is our project that we performed at, the, at, at, at for pbs things like that i started doing that for my uh, for my day job not as like extensive as like putting like who's you know who like who's where like you know like names and like any like positions and stuff because it's a big organization i don't want to do that i don't feel like doing that but it i basically fed it a bunch of i fed it like basic information about the organization yeah that i work for and then mm -hmm. and i fed it also a bunch of uh, web copy and uh, some copy from like social media and i'm like remember this and then i'm like oh write a write a social media post about you know like a swim class and then they just have it use chat gpt it's actually really use really, AI really responsibly. Cool. It's helpful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Use it responsibly. Yeah. Don't great power actually... comes great responsibility. Do you guys see the Thanks, someone using like he three D printed like a tool to write papers and then he <gasps> yes! yes I was like God wait damn I, it I showed you that one where <laughs> this person this this guy was either a photographer Caleb, or a videographer. Take note. <laughs> <laughs> or a videographer, he was like, I'm gonna, he had like one of those like Ikea desks with like a little like thin drawer, like uh -huh. underneath the desk. I think I sent it to you. He opens it and you know, like there's like organiz like organization like little thingies that he inserts that either came with it or that he bought. And then it oh, still shoot. wasn't optimized enough for him. Oh, you're talking about the, oh, yeah. because yeah, there were still like some loose like SD cards or whatever. So he literally emptied it, measured everything. I mean, there was no AI involved in this, but I just, it was just, you said 3D printing, oh. but like measured everything and then put it into, and then put everything into the 3D printer. Everything just fit like a glove, there's little slots oh. for every oh. SD card. Yeah. Oh, there's so a, cool. there's a scissor shaped thing for the scissors. Wow. Yeah. There's a camera shaped thing for the camera. And I'm like, so yeah. yeah the, oh, the, one. <laughs> the other thing that Lauren brought up was like, like this kit just brilliant. Mm -hmm. like, he, engineer he, three yeah an engineer he engineered a 3d printer to write in his style of handwriting i'm assuming mm -hmm. on like and then Actual he used notepaper. yeah on yeah. no paper and he used chat gpt to write like his Whatever. essays oh my god and i'm like you know where it's like like of course like writing a paper won't take that long mm -hmm. but it also goes to show that if you think like if you Think efficiently, mm -hmm. and if you put the effort in, like in a short span of time, yeah. then the fruits of your label, labor, labor, blah, 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 the fruits of your labor will last. Yeah. It's like having, it's like planting a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's it is like it's like ha planting a tree. Mm -hmm. Like it takes a lot of time to like foster it to help it grow, but when it when it fruits, yo, you got fruit. You got fruit, For and life. you don't need to go There's, to the grocery store. You just reminded me of this one guy that I've been following. I forgot his name. You're stalking he, him. Uh, yes. Yes. I, like I, Joe Goldberg. I would like to be his friend. 